daily newspaper section second, and then the Sunday newspaper last. If you'd like a question today, please use the raise hand function on Zoom, and we'll get round to as many as we can. We're going to start with Jamie Weir from Sky Sports News. Jamie, when you're on the panel, unmute yourself, and away you go. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning. Thomas, if I could begin by asking you, please, for your thoughts, whether you're disappointed, upset, angry, that Romelu has made his feelings of unhappiness so public? Yeah, we don't like it, of course, because uh, it brings it brings noise that we don't need and is not helpful. But uh, on the other side, we don't make want to make more out of it than it actually is. You know, you know very well how it is. It's uh, very easy to take lines out of context. It's very easy to to shorten lines, make headlines, and then later realize that it's not so bad and maybe not what he meant. Um, but let's be honest also with it. We don't like it. I don't like it, like I said, because it's noise that we don't need. Uh, we need a calm environment and focus, and this does not help. Did he sit down with you to discuss his unhappiness at the role he's playing at the moment? Oh, not at all. I, I, I don't feel him unhappy. I feel, I feel the exact opposite. If you asked me yesterday morning, I would say I feel the exact opposite. And that's why it's a surprise, but I'm the wrong person to ask. This is the kind of thing that's best kept behind closed doors, is what you're saying? Sorry? This is the kind of thing that's best kept behind closed doors, not discussing if, it publicly. If, if, yeah, if there is something, it, it, it's, it's behind closed doors, uh, for sure. Chelsea fans will obviously feel that this was a big summer signing. He was returning home, supposedly, and now he's already giving an interview saying that he wants to go back to Inter. Like I said, I mean, this is what you read into it, what everybody reads into it. I did not read it completely. Like, it's very easy to, in general, it is very easy to take lines out of context and take lines happen uh, and, and make headlines to, to get the focus and uh, um, to get the best out of these uh, interviews for several days. If it's an interview from a person of, of that kind of interest, that important player, I totally understand the process. And that's why it's a lot of noise. It's not only a little bit of noise, it's, it's a lot of extra noise. But, um, but, but, but still, we are like not here to just read the headlines and, and maybe we here can, can take the time uh, to, to, to try to understand what, what's going on because it does not reflect the, the, the daily work. It does not reflect the daily attitude. It does not reflect uh, um, the, the daily behavior which Romelu shows here at Cobham. But you need to ask him, not me. I cannot uh, help you further with, with this because uh, I was surprised. Last two, Jamie. Just finally on, on Romelu, Thomas. Will he face any disciplinary action or will you at least be sitting down to discuss these comments with him? We will. We will, and we will do it behind closed doors, and um, and we will do it uh, uh, openly, um, like I think the relation is uh, and has always been. So um, no further comments in, in public on that. Okay, last one, Jeremy. Okay. Uh, well, just finally then, Thomas, just can you give us an idea of the players that are unavailable for the match of the weekend? I know the, the wing-back situation in particular is pretty bad for you at the moment. Yeah, Chile, of course, has his surgery and um, has his best wishes and, and uh, all our energy to come back as soon as possible. But it seems like the season is over for him. Uh, with Reese, he has a, still has a hamstring injury, it's a muscle injury. Like always with muscle injuries, we, we, the examination is a bit later because the, the images are better if you wait a bit. So um, images will be later the day today, I guess, and then we will know more about it. Um, that's that's uh, the situation on the two wing backs. Simon Stone, BBC. Hi, uh, uh, Thomas. I hope you're well. Um, just a couple from me. Just in terms of Lukaku, I, you've you've answered very eloquently there. But is the noise around Lukaku louder because the team's results have not been? not being what you want, and that is what happens at a club like Chelsea. Maybe it feels louder, but 
I think it would have been loud anyway with these kind of headlines. You cannot win enough to 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 not talk about these headlines in media. I mean, this is uh, today's world is today's world, and everything you say has a certain uh, is is out there in public. If you're like a uh, such a big player like Romelu, and um, and he's an experienced player, and uh, he, he surely knows what 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 kind of uh, value it has when he when he speaks out. Uh, messages like this. I don't think that it would have another impact. Maybe it's a bit easier to deal with. Of course, like like everything, uh, by the way, everything is easier. Training is easier. Uh, uh, press conference is easier. Uh, um, like, like everything is easier when you win. Um, but this has nothing to do with that. So, so it would have been easier to deal with the noise, yes. But it would have been the same noise, I guess. And just on a, a different subject, Sunday, um, your game will be the first in England to have uh, legal standing at, at matches for some fans for many, many years. And I know fans stand at, at games, but this is something that has been part of the Bundesliga for a while now. It's a big thing for English English football. Do you... Do you ever sense a, a difference in atmosphere when when fans are stood up rather than sitting down? Um, I was not aware of it, but uh, I'm happy for the fans because I guess they they they, they like it and, and they want to they want certain areas where they can have the possibility to to watch a game standing and be a bit more emotional. But uh, safety is 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 first. I guess we we can all agree on that. We are used to it in Germany, yes, that there are big sections in the stadiums uh, where fans stand and uh, are responsible like or like watch the game in standing and it's a very traditional thing and, and, and it is safe at the same time. So hopefully it will, honestly, it will give us the extra boost, it will give the extra boost to our supporters because we, we, we absolutely need them on, on, on their best level right uh, in this moment and, and uh, right at the very first game in the new year against Liverpool. Ian Abrahams, Talk Sport. Hi Thomas, Happy New Year, how are you? Thank you very much, you as well. Thank you. Um, the other night when Manchester City won at Brentford, people were quick to tell Pep Guardiola that basically with, with an eight-point lead at the top of the table, his team were going to be champions. To that end, if you don't beat Liverpool at home on Sunday, are you giving up the title? I don't know. I would say we never give up nothing until uh, because why should we stop a race in the middle of the race? So this this would be my first thought about this question. And, uh, and the other thought is that we don't think about this stuff because we think about who plays, what do we tell the team today, how do we approach the team. These are the, I know that you think a lot about this, but, but we never actually never think about stuff like this. <laughs> so that's why I'm confronted with these questions in press conference, press conference try to be as smart, look as smart as possible, <laughs> even if I'm maybe not. And then find uh, find good answers, which I which I hope uh, I, I did in this case. Billy Gilmore is on loan at Norwich. Um, he got heavily criticised by the Norwich supporters after yeah. their defeat at Crystal Palace. Are you thinking about bringing him back from that loan now at Carrow Road? To be very very honest with you, I have not thought about it uh, yet, and I don't think it's a subject in between these matches right now. We will not. <laughs> At least it was. Uh, um, uh, it's. It's. At least we had for a whole week after the Liverpool. No, not even the F Cup. So we did not have a whole week to discuss all these things. So maybe we need to do it uh, right after uh, Liverpool. But uh, haven't discussed it yet, and um, honestly, don't have a have a have a clear opinion on it right now. And just the last one from me, and it's about Lukaku, kind of. How important is it for the harmony of your dressing room and the harmony of, of, of the club at Chelsea that, that you sort out the problem or, or the, the problems that he has? You sit down and, and you go through it with him. Um, or is it a question of he's your employee, he does what you tell him to do? It's a question of both, you know, like uh, your dressing room is not necessary to be always in harmony. 
it's absolutely not necessary to be successful. We don't have to hug each other, love each other every single day. Sometimes good to be on, a, on the edge, sometimes good to be a bit like, uh, yeah, in, in, a, in, a, in, in disharmony when it is in between certain boundaries. Um, the thing with, with Romilu is that uh, I don't think that anybody in this building is aware that he's unhappy and that's what makes us very surprised about his statements. So first of all, we need to check because I can see no reason why this should be like this. Um, and that's all I can see, uh, say about it and, and wait what, what, what Romelu says and, and then we will deal with it. Okay, Niv Dobrat, last question on the broadcast section. Hi Thomas, morning. Hi. Challenging times, obviously, with injuries, illness, COVID cases, but yeah. what has been the spirit within the team in the last few days, especially after the draw against Brighton? Um, we were like very disappointed, found a very disappointed team in the dressing room, angry, me, myself also upset, angry on the situation, on the results, on the decisions, uh, referee decisions on, yeah, we, we have the feeling that we invest a lot. We have the feeling that we, we squeeze the lemon and squeeze the lemon, but uh, it's, it's, uh, it's like squeezing a little bit the, the same lemon over and over again. And we expect it to be it always a, 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 a fresh juice out of it. And, and it's, it's hard because we're so ambitious and it's hard for the team to, to take these results and stay positive because we are so ambitious and we know what we can deliver and we know that we can play better. And everybody is fully aware, but everybody is, is trying hard. And it is not a matter of one D click, obviously. Uh, and it's it's tough. We have now three games at home. I think like where we conceded late equalizers, where we dominate all statistics, where we are, have clearly better chances, and where we are purely unlucky. And it's uh, it's a matter of six points that you lose because you have three draws instead of three wins, and um, it hurts because obviously with six points more, we would have a completely different feeling around New Year's Eve. But it's sometimes like this is also not the first time in my career and, and maybe not the first time and for sure not the first time in the player's career to have days like this where things feel a bit more heavy than, than on other days. Um, it is good then to go out of the situation if the situation and, and uh, the small situation feels a little bit like uh, difficult and hard to digest and, and uh, still we are a bit in, in, in upset mode. It's sometimes good to, 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 to make the focus a bit wider, look at the bigger picture, look at what we did in the last, in the, in the, in the year 21 and, and accept that uh, we are on in the right, still, still in the, in the right direction. We are still on the, in, in development. We still have to learn to improve and of course quickly, but, but uh, it seems to be a bump in a, a development that, that still is in the, in the right direction. It's uh, hard to accept for all of us because we're ambitious, but it's, it's what it is. Okay, that's the end 